refresh. So let's get started. It's great to have everybody here tonight. Thank you all for joining. Um, tonight's kind of a special night. Um, we have, we've been talking about team and building teams. And I think it's sort of a theme that we've been going through, um, trying to help everybody uh, learn how to build, learn how to engage people on their team. And overall, as a, uh, as a large team in Team Pagination, we're, we're doing our best to encourage everybody to participate, to get on Zoom calls, to um, learn from each other. And tonight, it's uh, my great pleasure to uh, have our teammate and friend, Judy Lee, uh, on the call with us tonight from Western Canada. Now, Judy has, um, is an amazing uh, woman. She has quite a few accolades to her, to her calling card, to her resume. And Judy Lee is, a, is an international summit uh, speaker. She's a certified Jack Canfield trainer. Um, she's a values practitioner, and she's also a best-selling author. Now, she has been with Vox Life slash uh, the Super Patch Company for six years now. So she, she has been in, uh, you know, for a long time. And, and uh, like a lot of us old timers that have uh, been here, we've witnessed a lot of uh, changes and embracing those changes. And we basically have relaunched again. And one of the things that we were talking about is, you know, with Judy was, how does she keep her teammates engaged? How do, how do you um, deal with your teammates and an environment uh, that we're all trying to create a good environment, an environment of communication? Um, because let's face it, um, we want to help our teammates succeed. And I think that's, uh, you know, a, a very important thing for all of us to do. And um, recently, Judy is, um, uh, empowering women over 40 to create a vision and live the life that they love. And I think that, uh, you know, um, empowering other people is a joy that uh, sometimes um, uh, we uh, can really enjoy when you help somebody succeed. I think it's, uh, and I know there's a lot of leaders on the team here. I, I uh, think of Carol Romkema, who's uh, out in Sioux Falls, is going to be hosting uh, the event coming up this Saturday where uh, Jay and Steve Schultz are going to be out there. And I know that those sorts of things where you get your team uh, to come and see and you uh, get uh, friends and guests to come is, is, uh, is exciting times. And um, so I'm really, really excited to have Judy on the call tonight uh, to lead us uh, in some of the things that she has uh, done and some ideas that uh, she has also used uh, um, to keep her team engaged and enthused. So without further delay, I'd like to uh, welcome you, Judy, to the call. So take it away. Thanks, Terry. So just really is an honor to be here tonight. I know we had a great conversation in the Women of Vision um, group the other day, just about exactly this, just trying to keep our teams in, involved and keep them active and keep nurturing them and supporting them. Um, my camera keeps flipping in and out. I might just try and turn it off periodically. So as Terry probably just said, I've been in Vox Life for six years. Um, back when we only had socks and insoles. I am a team leader. And I remember when I first started, I was just not really sure about this business model. I didn't really know um, but the business that I was in previous to this was a cafe and a catering business. So we had people coming into our cafe, they'd grab a cup of coffee, they'd have a sandwich, they'd have a cookie, they'd give us some money and they'd, they'd go and they probably would come back again the next day and do the same thing. So when we come into this direct sale, sometimes we don't know what to do. And it's all about um, finding people. If you put a post on Facebook and you're wondering why people aren't phoning you, it's like we have to go out and we have to find those people. So just a different business model. And, you know, I was just very inconsistent. Looking back, I was very inconsistent in the very beginning. And, um, you know, you'd start and you'd work really hard and then you'd get frustrated because you weren't seeing any results so you'd you'd quit for a few days and then you'd start again so just learned a lot um, you figure it out as you go along and it really has been a journey a wonderful experience and you know back then I just remember hearing from Ray Higdon and Eric Warre and I remember or just Jay even mentioned it the other day 
in our call on Saturday that 80% of the success in this business is through personal development. And when I heard that, I thought, you know what, I can do that. I can do that. I can work on myself. I can build my business and I can, I can be successful. So a couple of years ago, I ended up getting some coaching. I got a coach and we just really started to make a plan. We got a, a daily method of operation. I started being more consistent. I started asking more people if they were interested in the product, would you be interested in, in the uh, listening or looking at the business opportunity and really just stepping into the person that I was meant to be and really getting rid of those fears getting rid of all those limiting beliefs and all the stories that we told ourselves and tell ourselves every day and really just started to figure it out and just really started to act as if I was that leader that I wanted to be. And I wanted to be um, someone that was helping people and helping our team and just really started to think if I was, if I wanted to be the regional vice president, how would that person act? How would that regional vice president lead her team and how would she conduct herself and how would she communicate with other people and you really just have to start stepping into that version of yourself that you wanted to be so once I started to do that with help from my coach it just it just got easier and one of the first things I did um, you know this probably isn't going to work if you have a really big team but I didn't have a big team at the time um, but I started a messenger chat and so I've got all the associates in there. We welcome new associates in. I try and post the links for all of the um, calls that we have. You know, we, we have some fun in there. We have testimonials. People will ask questions. And it's just a great place to be, um, just to feel like you're connected to, to the group and to the team. And I know the other day after Jay's call on Saturday, we were all excited in there and we we're all just kind of talking back and forth and excited about the new products and what's going on. And so, yeah, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. And one other thing I do in this messenger chat is have a contest and I ha try and have a contest every month and there's certain criteria that I like the people to participate in. So for example, in um, February, I had about six things. So one was, um, have a customer uh, make an online order. Another thing was get um, your monthly smart ships. And for each of these, I give them a check mark. So they would put a check mark by, beside each of these things. Another one was um, go into the new associate handbook and tell us something that you've learned. Go into the testimonial group and take a look at some of the testimonials there and add someone to that group. So they're kind of things that everyone can be involved in. So whether you're there building your business and building a team or just there, um, just sharing with your friends and family, I just like to welcome everybody and have something that everybody can take part in. So that's an easy thing to do. Um, then at the end of the month, I add up all the check marks and I put them into a, a name, a wheel of names and the winner gets a prize. And so the prize, just depending what's going on, um, a lot of my associates are in the US and kind of all over Canada. So sometimes I'll get a book from Amazon and get it sent to whoever the winner, um, maybe an Amazon gift card. Sometimes I'll send a pack of patches that's easy to put in the mail. Um, if it was someone local, uh, a couple months ago, I just went over and had a great conversation with the associate and gave them a t-shirt and I forget what else. So just make it something easy, just to know that people are appreciated and um, that they're valued on your team. So that's a great thing to do. I also have a follow-up system in uh, in an Excel spreadsheet, and I try and just connect with people, um, you know, on a monthly basis. But I work that into my follow-up and just connect with people and just let them know that um, I appreciate them and um, just kind of a a check-in too, just to, just to see how they're doing. Um, another thing I started was a Facebook group, um, and this is for resources only. And I just find it's nice when people join the business to have everything in one place. So um, it's uh, Judy's Box Life, Box Life team. We are the passion partners. And in there I have, um, one of the first things I have is Steve's Moving Mountains presentations. 
I have um, just some links to all of the groups that we can add, be added to. I have the new associate handbook. I have a um, recording of how I work my follow-up system. So just different things that um, people might need when they first join the business. So just a great place to start. And I know that there's other places and it's a little bit of duplication, but just for people when they're first starting, just is a great starting place that they can be and just get the information that they need to go forward. Um, in there, I've also done some associate spotlights. So um, I have Vanessa on my team who is the online event queen and she does really well there. So I just did a spotlight on her uh, is a Facebook Live and just she gave us tips on how she does in the events and um, just gave us some tips on if anyone else wanted to do that, just to go forward with that. Um, so that was the Facebook Facebook group. And I always find too that I try and just connect with my new associates and, you know, a lot of them aren't in there to build a business right off the start. They're in there for the discount or they're in there um, just to try out the product. So it's just a really um, great place. I always just try and have a meet and greet, a 15 minute conversation just to you know, get to know people and see where they're from and what their interests are and just, um, just kind of welcome them to the team and just kind of get a feel for what they want to do with their business or where they want to go with it. And I think it's really helpful too to know who you are looking for on your team. So, you know, Paul and Terry talked a few weeks ago about the law of attraction and what you focus on um, expands and what you're thinking about, you bring about. So when we're thinking about the teammate that we want and the characteristics of that teammate, it's just helpful to know who your target market is or who your niche or who your avatar is. And it just makes it easier when you're trying to build that community because we all want those people that want to build a business and they're going to start off with that launch kit we all want that we also want just people that we can relate to and people I always want people that are like me um, you know the woman that's over 40 that maybe has some health issues and and needs to work on her personal development and people that are motivated and positive and, and kind and spiritual and you know that's the kind of person that I am looking for and I know that and it's just funny when I put that out there, like what I say, you know, what we focus on expands and what we think about, we bring about because so many people on my team are just so much like me. And it's just so much, um, it's, you know, it just brings me so much joy when we're all passionate about the same type of thing. So I always say just, you know, kind of know who you're looking for. Now, this is something that's really fun that we just started. And I really have to shout out to Carrie Hallam for um, this idea of doing um, an Ignite challenge. So we, I, um, I had this idea, well, I heard it from Carrie and I reached out to my side sister, Elaine Trite in Nova Scotia. And I said, Elaine, we need to do this group. We should start a Ignite challenge. She said, yeah, that's a great idea. So I quickly made the group and, and sent it to her. And before you know it, we had a whole bunch of people going in there and not really knowing um, the system, how we were gonna work this, but sometimes you just have to show up messy and uh, it all it all works out so what I kind of wanted was just people and customers and associates in there that were using the product and before we knew it we just had people in there that were interested and then I thought you know what this is such a great um, way of creating that community and for those people that aren't familiar with the super patch company or the Vox Life products or us at all what a great way for them to get to know us in this group. So even if they're not using the products, if they've never heard about Vox Life or whatever, it doesn't matter. So we've just created this community that's turned into, I think it's so much fun. Um, so we started March 1st and we have a different healthy habit to adapt every week. So our first week was adding more water every day. And so one of uh, my associates is a fitness coach. So she did a post on why water is so important to us. And then Vanessa posted about how we determine how much water we should actually be drinking. And, you know, post your, people are posting their successes, the people are posting their frustrations. Um, it's just turned into be a great group. And I shared it with the women of Vision on Friday and it, um, 
a lot of people joined and now we have over 50 people in there. So if you're wanting to join our Ignite Calorie Burn Challenge, I welcome you to join us. It's really turned into a lot of fun. And just before I came on here, I, I noticed that someone had posted that they had lost two pounds. So we're all going to do the hip hip hooray for Wanda. So it's just, um, like I say, I think it's a lot of fun and just a great way to create that community. And then it's connected a lot of us too that are associates that don't know each other um, across the country. So just a lot of fun and a great way to be healthy in the meantime. And I'll be doing some prizes. I'll do a prize, just a participation engagement prize halfway through and then one at the end. So um, that's kind of how it works, but just hoping to share a lot of healthy habits, um, maybe some recipes and that type of thing. Um, one other thing that I did that was good, and I, this is a good reminder for me that I can do this again because we've had some new growth on our team, um, is to do a group online event. So this can be used as a business launch um, for new people or just you know, just to get people exposed to what we're doing and some of our new products. So a lot of people don't know or aren't um, aren't sure. So it's just kind of a safe environment where people can just go in and just observe. They can comment, they can purchase, they can just do whatever they want. But if each associate on your team was to invite, you know, all of their friends and their family and their neighbors and their colleagues, it, you know, can turn into a great thing. And then, you know, people ask questions, the associates can comment, the associates can talk about their favorite products, and um, just another great way to um, create that community and just get the word out about what we're doing. So that is a good idea and a good reminder for me. So those are the five things that I wanted to share. So I don't know if anyone has any questions or comments or. So Judy, let's let's talk just briefly about um, when you started doing uh, little contests on your team. Um, how many people approximately did you have on your team um, when you started doing contests? Um, that's a good question. And you know what, it took a while for it to take off. So when I first started, I probably had, I don't know, 25. And now, um, like in the last 30 days, we've added 10 people to our team. So shout out to everybody that's out oh, there. Um, Congrats. Yeah, so it's good. So I think the last time I had nine people participate, but you know, I always see that people are seeing and, and you know, you get what you get. So it's been good. Yeah, I um, I know that uh, Kathy Gage on my team yeah. is a big advocate for contests. And um, I remember uh, back when we first started and probably um, Paul Austin will, will remember as well that uh, um, I ran a, a I ran a contest on on uh, and I didn't know what the heck I was doing, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just um ran a contest and I think it was for, you know, a reward of X amount of whatever, um, based on orders that went in, people that placed orders. And the reward was a, a trip to my fishing lodge. Oh, now man. I'm not saying that anybody that has a cottage or a place can uh, run those type of contests. But my, my point of saying this is that it was incredible the engagement that, uh, that I got on the, on the contest that I ran um back uh, probably i'm gonna guess it was probably four four or five years ago now um but i don't think the issue has to be you know a huge reward i think it's more so to acknowledge that people are putting the effort in to engage um like you said one of the things that really stuck with me is is what you said judy about pointing out um you know rewarding somebody for looking at the new associate handbook yeah. Um, yeah. and, and what did you learn by looking yeah. at that and sharing it with the team and, and rewarding them for that? I think it really creates engagement. So, yeah, I think. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I think so. And I think a lot of people, um, you know, even if they're there just for their family and friends, they still need nurturing and they still need to be appreciated. And, and, and sometimes we just need that. And that sometimes people are just here just for the community because they want to be involved in something that's so amazing. Yeah. And I, I think um, the, the, uh, the reward 
um, doesn't have to be doesn't have to be large. I mean, sometimes it can be as much as you know a rah rah on a on a personal uh, private Facebook group for your team yeah. um, recognition. I, I think everybody you know likes the add a boy. You know the the pat yeah. on the back. We all need that. And we all need that reward, and we all need that encouragement, and um, and it takes and it and it takes time to build a team. Let's face it; I mean, it's not it's not easy, and it's a uh, it's relentless work. And recruiting is is a necessary part of our industry, but it's not the easiest part. So when you get somebody, it, it's like you want to make sure that they're happy, that they get their questions answered, and that they have some little incentive. And I think if all of us uh, you know, follow sort of the lead of corporate, corporate runs contests all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? And, um, you know, they, they have little contests for, you know, the super patch coffee mug or, or mug. And it, it was great to see people post their picture with their getting their coffee mug. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it's, it's, um, it's, you know, doing those achievements. So when you start a, a contest, Judy, within your team, how do you sort of announce it? How do you prepare your team for it? What do you do? Uh, do you basically put a document together with sort of the parameters and then say it's going to start on this date? Now, I know you can use the, you know, the 28 day challenge uh, as, a, as an example, um, but how do you sort of get your team going and, and make them aware of what you're going to do and, and, uh, and um, have people comply and, and jump in? So I do everything in my messenger chat. And like I say, it may not work if you have hundreds of people on your team, but this works for me at this point. So I just um, just make, kind of make a, a pretty um, with lots of emoji post and just say, you know, this is a contest for February, February is here, let's, let's do a contest. And then I'll kind of list the criteria. And usually there's five or six um, things, but you can make it whatever you want. You could have a recruiting challenge. You could have a, you know, a prospecting challenge or however many, you know, reaching out to people and leads challenge or, or you could get really creative with that. And then I just, um, usually I give them a reminder about the middle of the month. And then at the end of the month, I'll say again, you know, it's the end of the month, I'm going to be drawing tomorrow. So please get your check marks in. And then I just kind of accumulate them. And sometimes I give reminders, of, especially if people say that they're working on their, um, uh, their criteria, then I'll, I'll private message them and then um, and just ask them if they have anything. And then I just do the the random wheel and pick the the name and then I announce that and we go on to the next month. Great. Um, Denise uh, has her hand up. Denise, uh, go ahead and unmute. Denise LaPointe. Yes. Hi. Hi, Judy. Hi, um, Denise. Thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot for this information. Okay, um, so I'm wondering, like, when you talk about a team, are you talking about just your first line members? So um, the reason why I'm asking that is because sometimes some of the people in uh, on uh, my team have recruited, and then they're not really interested really in really taking care of the people they've recruited, or they're just much more lax about it. Um, so do you have just your first line on there? Or is it stepping on people's toes if you um, bring in the, the, the downline of your downline? Yeah, and like I say, once it gets too big, it may not work. But for me right now, um, three, four levels deep, it it works. So we just we just invite everybody and encourage everybody to participate. Um, and I guess you'd have to find another way if, yeah, and I would just want to include everybody, right? right? So so nobody feels like you're stepping on their area, like their team. No, not so some of them, Like some of my, like for instance, uh, my downline had her own team. So should I still... In, and she's doing a great job at that, but should I still invite everyone to come on my team if they want? To yeah, go? and you know what? You could just ask her about that. Just ask her about that and just tell her that everyone is welcome to come. If you're going to, I'm going to be doing a contest. I'm going to be giving away some some stuff and you're all welcome to, to come, to participate. Yeah, this may help, Denise. Um, uh, give you an example. I mean, I if, if I know for a fact that Kathy Gage is doing a contest, um, then I'm not going to interfere with her contest. I'm simply going to support it, even though, 
you know, she, you know, um, her team is in my team, so to speak. Um, but I don't want to make it sort of redundant either. Um, and, and from my perspective, I think it's a great idea to ask your leader, hey, um, I'm thinking of running a contest. Um, are you thinking of running one or, or have you thought about running one? Because I don't want to, we, we don't want to do the same thing, so to speak. But I'd love to, you know, talk about some ideas with you and we can maybe combine our efforts and, and do a contest together. Um, I think the mm. whole communication thing, wouldn't you agree, Judy? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, so you're thinking more with your upline. I was thinking more with uh, with people on my line who also so I'm, have I'm, I'm just saying that Kathy's in my downline. Yeah. So I wouldn't run a contest for my downline when I know Kathy's running one. Do you right. know what I mean? So I don't okay. want to compete against another contest. That's why I'm saying that somebody that's right. in your downline, you may want to check with them and they may want to participate with your contest or in your contest as being part of your downline uh, and make sure that they're not thinking of running one, especially after a training like this that they may have watched, right? <laughs> and decide, hey, we want to we want to start one. But I know that Kathy has done some great, has had some mm -hmm. great success with contests. And um, what I'm going to do for the for the field is I'm going to Kathy has sent me um, uh, actually sent my sister and then my sister forwarded to me um, sort of the rules and regulations in a document form of what she does. So I'm going to ask for her permission. And if I have her permission and get her permission, I will post it in the files tab as an example or as an idea. And these competitions and contests don't have to be you know, to the letter of the law, you can make any adjustments you want mm -hmm. them for your for your mm -hmm. team and, and reward them in whatever way that that you feel that you want to reward them. And um, does that make sense, Denise? Yeah, yeah. Great. So basically, you kind of check in with other members who are known to uh, other associates in the team teams that, uh, you know, often will run a contest or something and you just kind of um, out of politeness kind of check in with them not to make things redundant or yeah, yeah. I think I think it's just a matter of communication and make sure yeah. and I think it's always uh, great to engage somebody on your team in your downline to to help you with an idea of a contest if they haven't been mm -hmm. doing one mm -hmm. and to work with you on it. and it gets them engaged and and they feel part of that community I think that is you know, I think that is a, a, a huge coup um, to do that. And, and you know, um, uh, Crystal Miller, she said, I just joined the business a week ago, so I don't, she doesn't have a team yet. And she's reached out to everyone uh, that she thought right off the bat um, that she kn knows or uh, understands or struggling a bit. And um, she's saying, I need to engage uh, with the rest of my list. And she's asking, do you recommend uh, cold messaging to for this is a little bit a little bit off off topic of contest, Judy? But do you recommend uh, cold messaging um, and and asking people if they're interested in trying the patches? Because I don't necessarily recommend cold messaging at all. I, I find it spammy. Um, there's a whole procedure that you know, Crystal. Uh, I'd be happy to work with you on for sure uh, to talk about that. Uh, but uh, what's your thoughts on, on cold messaging? So she said she has a list. So I wonder if these are people that she knows or if it's like a, a cold is obviously someone that she doesn't know. So I guess it depends on, on how you feel about that. But I guess I would get some more guidance maybe from your upline and some people, you know, I think there is a way to do cold messaging, but I think there is a, a knack to it that there's kind of a system that you should be aware of. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, cold messaging can sometimes put people off really quick too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you got to be careful with that, uh, especially if they, you know, feel like you're trying to sell something. Uh, I think it, I think it's important, and like we try to do in our, you know, build a culture as you have done a great job, and Judy and all the ladies of, of Vision um, in in that group have done an amazing uh, job of creating such a dynamic and kind and gentle and and you know warm environment and that's sort of what we want to portray uh, to people that we're you know we're generally here and I don't think there's anybody on this call that has built huge teams automatically 
everybody's worked at it. Everybody's continued to stay consistent and, and so on. So Crystal, I'm happy to, uh, to, to work with you and come up with some game plans and, and uh, for you on, on ways that uh, can be a little subtle. And, and we all know that being consistent on social media is, is a huge, mm -hmm. uh, a huge thing. And, and, uh, you know, we've talked about making sure that our team does what we do as your team will build and making sure starting out, you know, I think starting out your team is all of us, you know, regardless of whether we're linked financially, we are the team. And what are we doing? Well, we're doing our best to invite people to our testimonials group right away and, and making sure that we understand what people are struggling with and then tag them in some posts that are related to what their, uh, what their issues are. So, um, so, you know, I think the, the talk about contests is more a way of keeping your team engaged and giving them something to strive for rather than just quasi thinking about, you know, recruiting and so on. Uh, I know recruiting is, is important, but I think it's kind of like walking somebody up the stairs, no different than a, than a teammate. You want to be there to support them, have them engage, uh, have them learn. I mean, it's a new business. Let's face it. It, it takes time. Any thoughts on that, Paul Austin? Yeah, I was just going to say it's you got to know what uh, the you know the temperature of the person. Um, if it's someone you really know well and you know their back is in trouble, and you sent them a message and said, "Hey, Joe, I I got something that might help your back." That's a little bit easier. But if it's a complete cold kind of message, I I've tried those in the past, and I don't know. They just have a jingle to them that everybody can sense that it's a scripted type, you know, sort of shout out or whatever you want to call it and I just like to be more natural like wait for a post to show up and somebody says oh I've wow what a what a mess of a day I've had and you know I'm anxious or whatever the case may be and then I'll just reach out to them and say well you just told everybody on Facebook publicly that you're anxious so now I'm I'm just you just invited me to offer you something that might be able to help so um, you know that's the preferred method of going about it of course and uh but I do agree with contests, all those different things. Uh, they have been successful in the past. And then, of course, we had COVID and now we're back into full swing. And, you know, so now it's a great time to remember it's your business. So I, a lot of times people are saying, oh, well, how can we do that? It's, you know, if you're if you're just giving away something as a prize, then and it's your business. You can do that on this on the side. That's you don't have to wait for corporate to allow you to. I mean, I, you can't go around selling the patches for $20 a, a bag or anything, but uh, you have to, you know, make sure that everything's uh, legit there, but uh, do, do your own contest. It, 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 it makes a, a big difference. I got to get better at it. Um, you know, you sort of drift away from it and, and you know that it engages and we, we love swag. Yes. We love all those different things. So I know a lot more of that's coming too. We'll be able to use that to our advantage as well in our team. So. Yeah, great point, Paul. I think that, uh, you know, um, a, a little, uh, you know, uh, I love my super patch coffee cups or stuff that will be eventually in there to, to, to leverage those. You can write them off as contests uh, items um, as part of your business. And uh, kudos to kudos to you, Judy, for um, uh, reminding us about the importance of contests and and congratulations on the growth on on your team and and yeah. so on. And last week, I mean, it was a it was a great call by Agnes on uh, on mm -hmm. uh, QR code. And I think I've had a number of messages from people, um, you know, continuing to ask and and are excited about using the QR code and and channeling those people. So um, contest QR codes, um, being all here together and and uh, learning together, I think is so, so key. And it's important for our culture, I think too, Judy, um, to be able to share those, those ideas as well. So uh, on behalf of everybody here, thank you so much, Judy, for, for jumping in. I know it was short notice and uh, thank, thank you to my sister for, for uh, reaching out and, and setting this up. So it's great. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody want to raise their hand or just unmute yourself if you'd like and you got any questions for Judy? No. Okay, great. Well, then uh, I will uh, I will check with Kathy Gage, see if we can't get her contest, and I will put an announcement on the team page when the post is up in the uh, uh, files tab. So 
thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you, Judy, again for uh, thank you on short notice, and uh, we look forward to uh, next week. And um, don't forget about this Saturday in Sioux Falls. If you know anybody in Sioux Falls, make sure you reach out or in the area that they can go there and and be part of the event that's going on. And also tomorrow night our uh, you know, information and opportunity call as always at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Thursday night, um, Super Patch Stories uh, that goes live in our testimonials group uh, by uh, hosted by Paul Austin, 15-minute uh, call. Make sure your people are aware and tell them to refresh the page once they get in there to make sure the live pops up. So anyways, thanks again, everybody, for being on. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you. Thanks, Judy, great job. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Good night, all. Good night.